What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the nested if statement. So let's get started. Now what I mean about nested if, basically if you have more than one alternative, if you have more than one condition to test, basically that's what a nested if is. And we're going to use the else if to achieve that. Now let's start off by declaring a variable here first. I'm going to use the int data type and I want to call my variable red. And I want my variable to be equal to let's say 50. And end it with a semicolon. Now let's start an if statement here. We're going to type in if, hit space, open a close parenthesis, hit space, open curly brace, hit enter. If you're using Eclipse, it'll automatically add the closing curly brace. If not, you got to add this closing curly brace yourself. So this is a structure of a if statement here. Now let's test uh, for conditions. Let's test whether or not red is, let's say, greater than or equal to 90. So this is another comparison operator here. I'm going to talk more about comparison operators. I'm going to show you all of them and how to use them in another video. But this is basically going to test whether or not red is greater than or equal to 90. So if it's greater than or equal to 90, we're going to type something out on the screen in between this open and close curly brace here. So let's type out um, a system dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and then it was semicolon now let's add a message for the user here we got to use a set of double quotes for that and between the set of double quotes we're going to type in uh a so basically uh, as you can see this is like a grade so if uh if our number is uh, 90 it's an if our final number is greater than or equal to 90 then it's an a so we're going to add another one here let's hit enter a few times and we're going to add a else if. So we're going to type in else if after uh, this if statement here, then we can hit space. Then we're going to use this open and closing uh, parentheses, hit space. We're going to add a open curly brace, hit enter, and add a closing curly brace. Now this is the structure of a else if statement. This We're testing for other alternatives or we're testing more than one condition. So here we're going to test whether or not red is, uh, is greater than, we'll use the greater than symbol again or equal to, let's say, um, uh, 75. So we're going to say if uh, red is greater than, let's make this an 80. It's greater than or equal to 80. Then we're going to print out something here in between this open and close curly brace here. And we're going to use another system. Dot out, dot print, ln, open and close parentheses, and then with a semicolon. This time we're going to print dot b. So we're going to use a set of double quotes here to do that. We're going to type in B. So here, if red is uh, greater than or equal to 80, then uh, it's going to print out B, right? So let's add another one. And we got to add it uh, after this uh, closing uh, curly brace here. So let's add another else if statement. So we can type in L E L S E. Hit space. We're going to type in if. We're going to use this open and close uh, parentheses again, we're going to hit space, we're going to use this open curly brace, hit enter, and we got to add a closing curly brace if it doesn't already do that for us. So this is another uh, else if statement here. And here, let's test whether or not um, red is greater than or equal to 70, right? So let's type in red is greater than or equal to, let's say, 70. So then if it's greater than or equal to 70, then we're going to type something out and we're going to use the system dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and we're going to print out uh, let's print out C. So we're going to use a set of double quotes to do that and we're going to type in capital C. So let's add another else if statement here. Let's add another one after this closing curly brace here. So we're going to type in E L S E else if right hit space type in if this is going to be the last one and we're going to say um, if it we got to use this open and close parentheses and we got to add this open curly brace hit enter add this closing curly brace and we're going to say basically if red is uh, less than and equal to 60 right then we're going to say uh, D or I'm sorry, we're going to say greater than or equal to 60, then we're going to type in D. So we're going to use this greater than symbol. And then we're going to type in the S, then we're going to type in the system dot out dot print ln 
uh, open and close parentheses and there was a semicolon and we're going to print out uh, D, right? So here we're going to print out D, so we're going to use this set of double quotes and type in capital D. Now we're going to add the else statement, so if, uh, if, if none of these conditions are met, then it'll do something else. So we, to add the else statement here, we got to add it after this closing curly brace here. So remember, this is the structure of an else statement. We got to add it after this curly brace here. So we're going to type in else, E-L-S-E, -E, right? We're going to type in else, hit space, uh, open a curly brace, hit enter, and make sure that we added a closing curly brace. So this is the else statement here. And we're going to type something to the user. If none of these uh, alternatives or conditions are met here, then it's going to print something out to the user. Let's maximize this. Here. So it's going to print out system dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and then do semicolon and we're going we're to print out f, right? And we use a set of double quotes to do that and we type in f. So basically, let's start from the top here. Uh, we declared a variable uh, which we called red and we made red equal to 50, right? So here we have an if statement. We, we're testing whether or not uh, red is greater than or equal to 90. If it's greater than or equal to 90, Greater than any equal to 90, it's going to print out A. If it's, if, then we have another else if statement here. We're testing uh, for other conditions, and we have other alternatives here. So if it's uh, greater than or equal to uh, 80, then it's going to print out B. If it's uh, greater than or equal to 70, then it's going to print out C. If it's uh, greater than or equal to 60, then it's going to print out D. Else, it's going to print out F, fail. So let's test it out here. We added 50 to red, so let's see what happens. I'm going to press play here. And it printed out F, right? Because we added a 50. If it's uh, if it's uh, if it doesn't meet any of these criteria here, if it's not one of these alternatives, then it's an F. So that that's right. Let's make this one a 90 now. Let's make uh, red equal 90, and let's hit play. And we got an A. Let's uh, let's make uh, red equal 75. See what happens. Let's hit play. We got a C, right? Because um, if it's a greater than or equal to uh, 70, then we get a C. So that's how that works. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.